Now for question number 12, which is a question about similar triangles. It says triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, find PQ. So first identify where PQ is. Okay, PQ is over here. So let me call let's just call it X, for example. Say so let's PQ is X. All right, and we want to find the value of X. Now, we're told that they are similar triangles, so the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. So there's lots of ways of doing this question. Um, probably the, what you're most used to is to say, okay, if I divide X by 5.2, I'm going to get the same ratio as dividing 21.7 over 12.4. And then you can just rearrange that equation. So you have... 21.7 times 5.2 over 12.4 and that will give us our answer so we have 21.7 times 5.2 divided by 12.4 it's the same thing as what I've written there by the way that's the same as this okay which will give you 91 9.1 basically 9.1 that gives you 9.1 centimeters. There's no rounding needed. It's an exact answer. So 9.1, you don't need to write the centimeters because it's already there in the unit in, in the um, answer space. Another way um, I like to do these type of questions is, especially when we deal with area of, uh, you know, similarity to do with area and volume, is the way I prefer to do it, actually, in this particular case, this is fine. But when it comes to things with area, just so that you get an idea, is what I do is, I say, okay, we have to find x. I ask myself what side corresponds to that, that x on the other shape. So you can see, oh, it's a 5.2. So I know it's a 5.2. x is going to have something to do with this 5.2. Then I ask myself, I make a fraction, and I use two sides which are corresponding to each other that I know, which are a, c, and p are. They're in the same relative positions. And then I say to, say to myself, is x going to be bigger than 5.2 or smaller? I can see that it's in the bigger triangle, so it's going to be the bigger. It's going to be bigger than 5.2. So it has to, this 5.2 has to increase, and it will only increase if I make a fraction of these two with the bigger number divided by the smaller number. Okay, and that will of course give you the same answer: um, 21.7. 21.7 divided by 12.4 will increase 5.2 in the correct ratio, and you get the answer 9.1. Okay, so that's a little side point. The way I prefer it myself to deal with similarity questions because when it comes to areas and volumes and similarity it just makes in, in my opinion just makes it a bit easier to deal with that's all okay so there we have question number 12 and again the next question should be found on the playlist the playlist will be found in the description in the below the video you'll find a link to the playlist and you'll see all the questions from this paper on on that playlist so thank you for watching